Hi, my name's Neil, and today I'd like to walk you through an orientation of a Diamond Mower's wheel loader boom. Diamond produces two different types of booms for wheel loaders. What I have here is a self-contained model. The hooks are specific to your particular wheel loader. Check for loose bolts daily and tighten as necessary. Attach the same way you would a bucket or other attachment. The cables with the uh, multi-pin connectors come through the uh, shroud right here and connect up to your wiring harness to the cab. Make sure to disconnect these before unhooking the unit so you don't accidentally stretch these cables and uh, damage the connectors or the wires. The diesel fuel tank is located on the left and has a highly visible level indicator that can, you can see from the cab. The Tier 4 engine is intended to run at full speed in order to provide the necessary horsepower to run the hydraulic pump and accessories. Follow the break-in procedures outlined in the engine manual, including limited idle times and an initial oil change at 100 hours. As with most diesel engines, occasionally there will be a need to uh, clean out the exhaust system or uh, regen. Learn more about this process in your engine's manual. So under the cover here we have the uh, hydraulic tank that's located right there and uh, to check the, the, the level of the hydraulic fluid there is a sight glass located on this side. Uh, you know check that, um, that level when the engine is cold and the engine is not running. Um, we use ISO 46 hydraulic fluid in, in our systems. Um, over here we have the in-tank filter. Uh, replace that filter after the first 50 hours and then every 500 hours after that. Attached to the, uh, the filter housing there is our filter restriction gauge. You know, as there's restriction in the system, that will go up into the red. And uh, if you do see it up in the red, make sure to replace that filter even if it's not quite at that 500 hour mark. Here we've got uh, uh, our high pressure filter. That's going to filter the oil before it reaches the, uh, the lift valve right over here. But uh, you know, follow the same, same uh, recommendations there. Change it after the first 50 hours and then every 500 hours after that. Uh, this also has a restriction gauge. Uh, that green, uh, green there will turn red if there's a restriction. So see that one pop into red, go ahead and replace that filter. And uh, down here at the bottom of the uh, tank is a ball valve. That ball valve does have a uh, zip tie kind of holding that handle open um, just to make sure that it doesn't vibrate down or anything. Um, just make sure that that ball valve is all the way open at all times or you can starve the pump or, and uh, damage your whole system. Right here we do have the pump. It is attached directly to the engine. Uh, just kind of check that uh, frequently, make sure that your bolts aren't coming loose and uh, check any of your hoses under here for any uh, leaks or abrasions. Right here we have our cooler, so that cooler is going to uh, cool the hydraulic system, um, kind of keep it from overheating. It does have an electric fan on the outside that has an automatic reverser, uh, and that what that reversing fan will do is uh, just kind of blow off uh, the dust and dirt and, and chaff and everything that might be collecting on that on that cooler periodically. That is automatic, no switches to uh, to flip there. Over on this side we have our pump unloading valve. Uh, that is just your electrical va valve that turns a mower on and off. Controlled by a switch right there in the cab in the control box. And uh, right next to it we have our lift valve. That uh, controls the movement of the boom. You know, check those hoses frequently for rubbing or leaks, replacing any hoses if necessary. On the bottom side of the uh, of the lift valve we have the accumulator and that uh, what that does is it acts as a shock absorber for the main boom without that in place that shock of the main boom uh, bouncing up and down as you uh, as you transport it could cause damage to the frame and loader the internals of the engine are protected from the elements by a steel cover and uh, make sure that all of your covers are in place and properly uh, secured to prevent injury from hot or rotating parts so out here on the left hand side we've got our actuator. So the actuator is a mechanism that swings the boom forward and backward and has a range of 180 degrees. Uh, we've got grease fittings on the top and the bottom 
of this thing. Grease those once a week until it purges out the uh, purge ports that are on the other side of the actuator. Um, this right here is our anti-cavitation manifold and that's what actually provides that breakaway function. If uh, you happen to hit something solid it allows that uh, boom to safely break away in either direction uh, without causing damage to the actuator. So just keep in mind that uh, continually um, running into things and, and and moving that over the uh, uh, the reliefs in the actuator will cause damage over time so uh, just don't do it on purpose. So the boom will have grease points at the end of each cylinder and at all your pivot points. So grease those every day with number two lithium grease. Um, while you're at it check your all of your hoses and tubes for any damage or uh, or leaks. Our direct drive spindle here is an oil bass spindle uses uh, 7590 synthetic. Change the oil once a year every 500 hours. Uh, the spindle also uses Diamond's patented replaceable splined insert in case there's any uh, wear between it and the motor. Uh, the pressure relief valve on this side uh, will protect the spindle in that rare event that the motor shaft seal fails. If you do see uh, oil purging from that relief, uh, the motor shaft seal is likely failed. And uh, our spindle bolts down here, they are torqued and marked. Check them every day and then retorque if loose. The motor is held to the spindle with these four bolts held into place with a locking tab. Uh, check these bolts every day for torque for the first 40 hours and then weekly after that. Inspect the rubber flap and replace it as it wears out. If it's worn, torn, or missing, it's not going to protect from flying debris. Check the trap door for proper function. Spring trap will spring back. Uh, this is a hydraulic trap on this one. Uh, only use uh, that in the open position when, uh, when it's safe to do so. And then uh, return it to its closed position when you don't need it. Check the disc and blades frequently for damage and wear. Uh, these blades, once they are worn to uh, half of their original width, it is time to get rid of those. And then always replace the blades in, uh, in full sets along with their, uh, their hardware, the nuts and bolts and, and roll pins. Uh, an easy check is to uh, just see if there uh, is still a roll pin inserted in that castle nut. If there's still a roll pin inserted, then the bolt is still tight. If the roll pin is missing, make sure to retorque that bolt, reinstall a, a roll pin. You also will want to check your, your disc bolts here, make sure that they have not come loose. So inside the cab here we have the joystick and that's going to be in a convenient spot here up by the, uh, the handles. And uh, we mounted our control box right in the back right here. So the control box uses a key switch to uh, start the engine uh, on the, the boom mower. Uh, we've got a mower switch on the top here. Uh, flip that on to, uh, to operate the, the mower. Down in the bottom we've got our high and low idle for the engine speed. Uh, keep in mind that you cannot start the, uh, start the mower with this switch in the on position. That's a safety feature. So we want to make sure that that's off before we try to start it. And as you turn this off, uh, make sure that you don't accidentally put it into the uh, accessory mode um, or uh, you will drain your battery. The, uh, the joystick in the front you know, that operates just like our boom mowers with a, uh, a switch on the side that uh, turns off power to the joystick when, uh, when you're not using it. Instructions on how to operate the, uh, the joystick and what the functions do can be found in your operator's manual. For more information on operation or maintenance of your Diamond Mowers wheel loader boom, give us a call or visit us online at diamondmowers.com. Diamond Mowers, where you can demand brilliance.